Throughout the galaxy, a legend is told on a distant planet. Probably isn't loud enough. A grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens. And descended upon the keep. Slow narration, slow. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. And Happy Hills! I like Happy Hills. Over time, the fortress was rebuilt. And some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim their prize and make what was done undone, they must... Enter the Gungeon. This is a bizarre little game. That's probably okay. Make sure my controls are still the same. Yep, looks okay. Okay, so this is Enter the Gungeon. It is a uh, gun themed roguelike. Uh, dungeon crawler type thing. Uh, I had it on my PS4 ages and ages ago. There's a big dragon. A dragon. <laughs> oh, Shaman's gonna be sorry you missed this. Anyway, we got four play possible player characters, and then there's a local co-op little purple dude. Uh, the hunter has a crossbow, which does a lot of damage, and a dog that randomly finds goodies, which can be useful. Uh, I've never really enjoyed the convict, although starting with a shotgun is fairly nice. The pilot is interesting. He can have more active items, and sometimes he can open a treasure chest. And the Marine is just good at shooting things, so... Our first run through, we'll go ahead and do the Marine. I was, I've was i been playing this since I picked it up. It was on sale this weekend, uh, and there's a free expansion. You can break stuff. Must be a new arrival. Let me guess, you're here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first. There's no salvation here. I was like you once. Come to change the past, and now I have no future. <laughs> I believe this is our tutorial, which we may as well do since we're doing recordy shenanigans. The Halls of Knowledge. Books! Get wrecked, books. That serves no purpose, it's just fun. Wayward soul, approach me. For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words, and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Onward! To greatness box. Er. Okay, Try flipping these tables or kicking those barrels with the A button. Yeah, tear it up. I'll clean it later. Sir Manuel was here. Er. Barrels. You'll need those later. Er. Get angry. It's the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by pressing... well, wrong button. So... You're invincible during the first part of your dodge roll. So this is a very important skill to be able to do. That's a lot of guns. Nice work. Dodge roll is the prayer of the Gungeoneer, and the Gungeon provides for its devotees. Dodge roll to jump over pits. Huzzah! Err. Got your ass, pits. Got one last pistol. Oh. Okay. Now what? Give me a gun. Sometimes, though, the number of bullets can be overwhelming. There's a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Blanks delete enemy projectiles. That makes them uh, go away for a second. It's nice. Planks refill every floor, so use them when you need them. Oh, I didn't know that. But now, I suppose you 
Gun befitting your stature and experience. I want to open it. A pea shooter. You'll need something to shoot. One of the Gungeon's natural inhabitants. Cruel, savage, bloodthirsty. There's a little bullet dude. Now. Kill him! I shot him with peas. Cold-blooded. Truly, you are ruthless. The next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill the enemies in each room and the door will open. I'll meet you in a few rooms. Okay, and we have our big book of gun stuff. The Ammonomicon. Return this down. At least we have Twitch here. Like Subway the Sandwich Place or like Subway the Transportation System? Baby's first gun, semi-automatic. Traditionally given to Gungeoneers when they arrive at the Gungeon. It is incredibly weak. Also... So that's all the guns we've found so far. These are, uh... The starting guns. So. And, uh, then we have... Items. We have the, the holy bullet ingredients. A friendship cookie. That's for a uh, co-op. Stuff people start with. Oh, I start with a thing. Where's my thing? The Marine starts with a... Ah, yes, a book. Memories of your years of training. Better reload speeds and accuracy. And then we have bad guys. Did I not get a... I guess I didn't get a, a bestiary for him. And the bosses. That's no good, ghost. It's been pretty nice here, finally. Finally got down back into, like, the lower 80s and 70s. Ah! I'm out of peas! Eh. It's like a... Like a Mexican standoff. Less Mexicans. Not a sandwich place. I went and got some Chinese food. Letting it sit in the refrigerator until it is the appropriate temperature. I have pizza from the weekend. So then bad guys will spawn in. Spawn in. That's a shotgun shell. Hey, what do you want? You made it! Not a dodge roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. How's the audio, by the way, guys? Need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. Take this bed kit, for example. Just don't use it yet. Press the item button to use it. I have changed those buttons. That's a teleporter. You'll be fine when you can return there as long as you aren't in combat. Open up the map and do the thing. No. Oh, good. Ability. You can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just the ones in the same room. But they won't work if you're in combat. That's a really cool thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, summer. Well, we finally had some rain, which has really helped out a lot. Which is good. I figured I hadn't done a roguelike in a while. Uh, and it was on sale for like seven bucks. And free expansion, which, you know, Death. Death loves him some free expansions. I don't know what else we might do tonight. Ooh, more rooms. This is a full-on little tutorial dungeon. More shotgun shells. Ah, I got hit. So the hit knocks off my armor, which acts as a blank, which is nice. Oh, old knight shield, heavy with experience. And some other stuff. Cool. Maybe I should have done the tutorial the first time I played. Okay. So, passive items. Protects knowledge. A sturdy, if modest, helmet once worn by a knight with an unusually large head. And the old knight's shield. The shield of Sir Manuel, emblazoned with his house sigil, the cup of knowledge. There's a diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on the shield, and examples of when to raise it. Remarkably free of wear. And there's our med kit. Um, active items are kind of like uh, Binding of Isaac. And that you use them, and then they come back eventually. Oh yeah, no, the blanks make uh, definitely make the bullet hell aspect more tolerable for people like me who are old and don't have as good reflexes. I made it to the final boss earlier today on like my second run since God, I can't remember the last time I played this game. Whoa, our bullets are significantly larger. Must be from the helmet of knowledge. You have two more guns, hold wide a slow time and pick the one you want. 
Huh? Oh, that's not it. I wonder what weapon I... I wonder what button I made that. I don't have more than two guns yet. There, now we have more than two guns. Oh, that is nice. I usually just do that on the fly, though. Now we got an AK-47. Sweet. I just press. I just use the D-pad. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't gotten Yakuza yet. I will probably get Yakuza uh, once we get the house sold and I have more substantial money that I don't have to worry so much about. It's a pretty lady bullet. Um. Do we have bad guys now? We do have bad guys now. Uh, I was going to say something. Uh, yeah, the only issue with Yakuza is I worry about uploading it to YouTube. Bullet kin are the most common gun dead. These sentient shells were brought to life hundreds of years ago when the great bullet struck and formed the Gungeon. They are simple creatures, but vigilant and loyal. Oh yeah, no, no, it's really good. Especially if you get the lowercase r. That's one of my favorite guns. It's not very powerful, but I just like the way it sounds. Uh, bandana bullet kin. Aggressive bullet kin that fearlessly charge their targets, spraying bullets from the machine pistols with reckless abandon. Some theorize that the bandanas represent the rudiments of gun dead culture. That said, there's evidence, little evidence beyond the occasional pair of sunglasses. And we got a red shotgun kin. A red dead. Shells of the red kin are the beefiest and most durable of the shotgun dead. In bullet society, shotgun kin are often serve as enforcers to their smaller brethren. Hey, Lethal. How you doing? Oh, there's a blank I didn't get. Well, whatever. We got a big shield. We'll be fine. I believe the shield will block bullets, because there's a lot of new things that I don't remember in the PS4 version blocking bullets. What? Yeah, yeah. Face you in single combat, but I got an AK-47. You're toast. It's a shield bullshit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that shield's nice. Wow, dog meat. Oh my, a bunch of free money. I like free money. <laughs> he was beating the ground. He looked like Christian. Bulletkin, yes, bulletkin. See, I'm not sure about the Yakuza. Because I know, I remember Sega was real anal about uh, people doing Shining Force 2 a long time ago. I don't know, currently. Wait, that shield! You found my shield! Which means you know my terrible secret. It's true! I never conquered the Gungeon! I'm no longer sure this even is the Gungeon! How humiliating. It's all that bastard's fault. Whose fault? That Snake Blockner. We were supposed to be partners. Shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I awoke, I was trapped in some kind of chest. Called out for help, no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted the gun for himself, but he must not have made it. How do you know that? Because if Blockner had changed the past, he never would have come to the Gungeon, and neither would I. I'm still here, so he must have left. Maybe he's stuck in the Gungeon, too. It would serve that bastard right. If you find him, tell him Manny says hi. You know what I mean? So, you want me to kill him? Hey, now, nobody... Nobody said anything about killing, but yes, please kill him. Anyway, I have nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the Gungeon and your past. So apparently we're all tortured protagonists of some type or another. That feels loud to me. I'll turn it down just a little bit. Boop. That's a big bullet elevator. It's nice. Oh yeah, Lethal had the problems with that. Yeah. So the right person to be here. Okay, so that was the tutorial area. If we go over here, this is boarded up, but it looks like pizza. Although I guess that could also be a gun chamber. But it looks like pizza. We'll go ahead and do a run with the Marine. What's up with you guys? We're now ready to enter the gungeon. Oh yeah. They uh, tell you to go do the tutorial if you haven't done it. And these are boarded up. And I'm just kind of walking around. And these are boarded up. So, a temple, and then a bullet, and then people found guns, and a gun about time. Yeah, 
that kind of explains the uh, roguelike nature we keep dying. And this is my favorite loading screen of all time. Whoop! Jumps into the little chamber, although unfortunately my PC might be a little too good, and it doesn't last long enough. A shrine to an old gunslinger. There's an inscription. Kill your past. You're already damned your future. The rest is worn away. So, now as a marine, we still have our book. We have the always with you marine semiotic side semi automatic sidearm. Infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. Marine's sidearm was brought to the gungeon by a low ranking primer dine soldier. Though this gun appears sturdy, it has been known to fail when it is most needed. Uh, I need mags, calls in an ammo drop, which is important until we get other guns. And then we have our book that makes us a better shooter. And we start with a free point of armor. And that's a ghost! And that's a book. An evil book. Shoots letters at you. And these are shell casings, which are effectively money in this game. So there will be merchants. Those are bullet bats. Shotgun and regular bullets and grenade varieties. They don't drop anything, which is sadness. The music's really good in this. What the hell is that? Ow! That looks like a treasure. No, come back, you shit! Aww. I've noticed guys that look like keys that run away. I don't know what he was, though. I have a bad habit of rolling backwards, which then puts me into the path of danger. Those are grenades. I think we fought one in the tutorial. A lot of money in this room. Oh yeah, no, I loved Kiwami. I, I hope that one comes out soon. What, what, what have we fought so far? So we fought a blue dead. Shells of the blue can fire more rapidly, though they are similar in many other respects. Shotgun can are known to burst upon death as a final act of revenge against their assailants. And we have the hollow point, an undead gun dead. Able to dematerialize and rematerialize at will, these spirits still cling to the combat they knew in life. When a bullet kin dies, they are sent to the hollow. These spent shells occasionally return to their original chamber, empowered with ghostly abilities. And the pinhead. Ha! Pinheads live for the moment before their own brilliant combustion. Beware their leap. Unwavering in their purpose, pinheads eagerly sacrifice themselves to protect the Gungeon and its treasures. Uh, the Gungeration 101. These fiery tombs are required reading for initiate Gungerers. And what do we got? We got a bullat. Bats have once nested here, have been transformed by the Great Bullet. Able to fly at high speeds and attack, but unable to survive the force of impact. And shot gats split themselves into two, firing in a V-shape. Their aim can be foiled by remaining still. And the gun nut, uh, instead of a dark nut, that's adorable. The gun nut commands lesser gun dead with the authority of the Bullet King, and patrols the halls of the gungeon with a mighty blade forged from pure bullets. <laughs> uh, actually, the grenade reminds me of the thing. I've been watching Letterkenny, and they did a St. Patrick's Day episode where they drank something called an Irish hand grenade, which I really like the idea of. It's, it's a pint of stout, and then you jam two shot glasses into it. And one shot glass has Irish cream in it, and the other shot glass has Irish whiskey. And it's called an Irish hand grenade because you can pull the pin by taking out the shot glass of whiskey, shooting it, the cream falls into the stout, and then you drink that. That's the boss room. Now that sounds delightful. I might have to make some sometime. Odd little statues. That's fire. Aw, oh, I burned out. I don't know what these are. Those are dynamite! They do a chain explosion kind of thing. Ooh, a chest. The machine pistol. And a heart. Machine Pistol is a small but powerful handheld machine gun. It's a favorite of bandana wearing gun dead whose impatience with reloading is legendary. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Why not?
Ooh, I like this. Ah, it's a blue one. That's a shopkeeper. I could use some more shell casings first. There's not really a lot of interactables in the maps. I don't know exactly how secret doors work. That's why one reason I really like the hunter because the, the dog will occasionally dig up like a key or a blank or even parts of armor, which is nice. That's a trap. There are traps in some of the rooms. Boy, the spread on this is obnoxious. Barrels! Hey, Fluff. Actually, against these little little guys, I don't really need to use a better gun. I can use use my sidearm against the regular bullet can. Pretty lightweight. This will lead to a secret door, a treasure chest, and this is a fun one. This is the full metal jacket. I got this one earlier today. Um, it automatically triggers available blanks when in danger. The original Gungeon item. This protective garment laser cut hole from a massive blank can detect when the wear bearer is being threatened. Well, yeah, that's how you get better at the game, Fluffy. You have to die. That's why you have to kill your past. Uh, this is... I don't know what this is. This room shows up in some... This portrait and fireplace shows up in some way, shape, or form on every level one. There's a couple rooms like that. In every level two, there's a mausoleum that I don't know what to do with. There's an altar you can interact with, and it's like, you just walk away, because you don't have anything to do with it. And I'm sure there are secrets and things that I just never bothered to look up, because it's like, eh, whatever. It's half the fun of figuring some of this stuff out for yourself. Like, I finally figured out the Holy Bullet, that's why I restarted my game. I actually completed part of that quest, so I was like, oh, well, if I'm going to do a recording of it, I want to start from the beginning. The bullet birds are kind of cute. Let's see what I can find here. Uh, oops. Ammomancy 201. Watery tombs are required reading. Strangely expensive for a book that tries to shoot its reader. And a gigi, or a black. Gigi are strange species of birds that lay eggs filled with bullets. Delightful. It may do that. Oh, I need another key. I like to buy keys. This is one another reason the rogue's kind of fun, because if you don't have any keys, you use your lockpick. And while you might jam the lock, you might also get free stuff, which there's nothing wrong with free stuff. Well, let's go check the shop and see if we can buy a key. If he has one, we can buy it, because it'll be less than 54 bucks. Or he might have a gun that I know is good. Err. Take that, tables. Use the map to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a map, which is, I think, only for this floor. I think I can buy hearts here? I don't know. There's a key! Key's 25 and armor's 25. Now let's get, a, get an armor back. Sometimes there's a little dude up here that you can throw guns at, and he will give you money. He's happy! Something for the collection? I'll compensate you. So, because you can drop any of your non-starter uh, guns. I like the amount of ammo and not having to reload the machine pistol has, so we'll keep that for the boss fight. Uh, oh, hey, Grimoth, how you doing? Key dropping enemy. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've seen the new. I've seen the new key dropping enemy a couple times. I've seen there was something that looked like a shotgun gun dead, but I didn't get to kill it in time. How are you, Grimoth? Is everything all right? A game like this, I can't look at the chat quite as often as I would like. Now right, let's fight the boss. Usually three bosses. This is not the easiest one. There's an easy one and two not easy ones for the first level. I think this is one of the not easy ones. It's Vulcan Raven. See, it's. Actually, it's the Rapid Fire Raptor, the Gatling Gull.
the accuracy hit is not as bad on this, because he's so damn big. Also, we can use our blank, because apparently we'll get it back on the next stage. Should have just rolled up there, but I'm lazy. Shield of the Maiden unlocked. And money! And another armor. And some hearts we can save for later. And a sticky crossbow. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, so that means we... I think that's kind of like the Binding of Isaac thing, where we got a guy, It's it'll show up in the dungeon from now on. Uh, does not... Ex darts explode on reload. A favorite of an adventurer, Friffle, who appreciates traditional weaponry, but isn't opposed to a few combustible upgrades. And we also got the First Chamber. This rare artifact indicates a mastery of the First Chamber. Apocryphal texts recovered from cultists of the Order indicate that the gun and the bullet are somehow linked. <laughs> um... I don't know what it does. I think it might make you a little better. Like, like a little faster. Oh no, I got a heart. I think it, you get those for beating the boss without taking any damage. I'm not 100% sure though. This is a save and quit guy, and I think this is where any hearts we say we want stored end up. But I've never used it, because I never survive long enough to get back to it if I'm hurt. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> No, it, the first... I've always fought the uh, Gatling Gull the first time I do a, uh, uh, a restart. I seem to fight Gatling Gull more than anything else. Uh, yeah, like that. Oh, I can keep shooting it and explode them... Okay, I like this a lot. That's a box of ammo. Okay, that's pretty great. That was ammo for both things. So now we're in the gungeon proper. Yes. Okay. Ah, big spooky spider. Damn it. I think it's dead. Not paying attention. Well, I lost my blanks instead of my armor. My armor will act like blanks. This is this is okay. I'm okay with this thing. I was thinking, like, the traditional crossbow, where you fire it. Ah, uh, beholder eye things. That's a big key. A cell key. What could it unlock? No worries, Ghost. I will probably upload all these at some point. Ah. Unhappy. I don't like those things at all. They explode in a big diamond. Like that. That's a teaser? the other way there. Shit. I got them both. Nice. This is probably going to lead to the merchant. A little wizard. Blanks. What the hell is this? An ammo belt. 
This is expensive. This is the Prime Primer. This is part of the prime main quest, I think. This is one of four items we need to create uh, a bullet. Oh, I need more. Your wallet needs to reload. Um, there's the primer, there's a casing, there's a gunpowder, and there's a, a bullet tip. I found the bullet tip earlier today. These are little garbage jelly things. That guy buffs things. So it's worth chasing his silly ass down. Oh, they made a little sad face on the ground. That was great. Hard piece. We'll save that for later. Two bosses, uh, there's one I'm really good at and one I am terrible at. And I'm not sure if there's a third one for level two. Oh yeah, there is. Oh god. There's two I'm not good at <laughs> and one I'm really good at. So we'll hope for the best. What are you? A blue guon stone. These seem to be new. Slows time upon receiving damage. Neat. We won't have to use that very often. Imagine this explodus of dart gun really messes bosses up. Oh yeah, I can just teleport. Uh, well, I guess let's go here. Watch out for the pits. It was funny reading some of the reviews for the game. It's like, who would put reloading in a bullet hell? Like, well, it's it's a mechanic, what do you want? Still got plenty of a uh, machine pistol. Yes. Snipers! I hate snipers. Ah, uh, oh, that was good. Not a big bullet. Big shotgun dead. Ooh, a bunch of money. Oh, yeah, the key. Uh, can we teleport to the shopkeep? Who has key? Key. Hey, teleporters. Ooh. The Rubidine prototype. It never quits. Prototype Ricochet Blaster. The blaster is created to test the limits of projectile impact and ricochet physics. Oops. Let's check out our new baddies since we're on a new floor. Ah. We have the veteran bulletkin, Deadeye. Oh, he's cra it's not an eye patch, it's a crack that looks like an eye patch. That's adorable. More experienced than their standard bullet kit brethren, veterans have a better understanding of gunplay. These crafty gunslingers will predict the movements of their targets, aiming where they're going to be rather than where they are. And the veteran shotgun kin. These mighty soldiers combine a sharpshooter's prediction with the area denial of a shotgun. Can be confused by erratic moments. And the sniper shell. These sharp-eyed sniper shells are easy to deal with on their own, but can pose quite a threat when provided back up by us to other gun dead. Adventurers who've encountered them are divided as to whether gun dead grow to resemble their weapons of choice or if they are born with the affinity for a certain type of gun. And there's Tazy. Tired of being pushed around, Tazies are rubber gun dead that have developed offensive capability. Quick and shocking to touch, Tazies can be quite dangerous. King Bullat, largest known species of Bullat. Blobulins. Lowest ranks of the Blobulonian army, fanatic warriors, throw themselves into combat with total disregard. Their hateful speed is only matched by their fragility. The Blobulon, the assault trooper in the Blobulonian army, third division, capable of subdividing upon death and overwhelming their foes with numbers. The feared Blobulonian empire once spanned a thousand worlds, and it only began to crumble after a disastrous winter campaign through a particularly cold region of space. <laughs> 
Blobby Lons crave battle above all things, and in the Gungeon they can relieve their glorious, relive their glorious and cruel legacy. And the Blobby Lloyd. When Blobby Lund dies, it immediately spawns two vengeful Blobby Lloyds, substantially faster than the predecessor. Blobby Lloyds are known for overwhelming their prey with princer strategies. Okay, we did these. We got Muzzle Wisp. When the largest of guns are fired, the brilliant muzzle flash calls these wisps into existence. The Order's scriptures claim that the star Gunnymede orbits itself, is itself one such wisp, spawned from when the great bullet was fired from the heavens. And a Cubulon, ascendant Blobulons, who have achieved flight, the force of their slam attack violently expels ammunition they store in their gelatinous body. The Blobulonian military is nothing if not practical. By forming their bodies into cubes, Cubulons were able to attack more efficiently Oh, were able to more efficiently pack themselves into troop transports on their campaigns of conquest. There's our apprentice Gungeoneer. His wand looks like a little baby rattle. Less experienced than fellow ammo mancers, apprentice Gungeoneers must hone their craft by ordering bullets into a variety of simple shapes. And a gun singer, an applicant to the school of gun duration. Ugh, these neophyte mages crave the favor of their superiors. Beware, for while they exhibit great cowardice themselves, they can make any other opponent substantially more powerful. And you, Bullet Shark, leaves a wave of bullets. And a beady, a thrall to the Beholster. These abominations are summoned whenever the Beholster fires its signature weapon, the Eye. These are new. I don't remember these before I got into the new version. Phaser Spider combines two worrying features, the ability to fire bullets and being a spider. Having entered the Gungeon's dimension through the tear in the curtain created by the Mind Flare, the Phaser Spider spins radiant bullet webs to ensnare wandering Gungeoneers. Has also been known to leave behind a sticky residue. Good stuff! So we have this thing. Also, this is a cell, and we have a cell key. This is how we unlock things in the hub. Have you ever played this one, Gareth? I can't remember. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. You should come by. We're on top level of the breach. You can't miss it. Thank you for rescuing Mr. Cadence and this one. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, Ox. <sighs> You're always so slow. He's a giant robot. And they are not a gun-themed pun. And this is the tomb. And I don't know what to do here. Because I can interact with this, but it doesn't do anything. If there's an item I should have by now, or if it's something you do on subsequent playthroughs, or what's going on. Uh, let's say not quite boss time yet. This is a good one. A shrine of glass. We pray at the altar. You get glass goo on stones. Fleeting defense. They block bullets until you take damage, and then they shatter. So they're like a bad version of the big shield we had earlier. Could be handy for the boss fight. You can't rely on them though. I'm not sure if it's one you'd enjoy or not. You might. Ah, this is the one I'm good at. I like this boss fight. She's easy. It's the Gore Gun. <laughs> oh my. Let's try the uh, sticky crossbow. Here. That's not great. Either. Problem is, I can't see if I'm actually hitting or not. Her patterns are a lot easier for me to recognize than some of the other the other two bosses. Oh, I got turns. Oh, okay. Shouldn't use that attack when I fought her earlier today. Oop, that's I'm trying to dodge roll into the bullets. Best. 
bitch. Got her. Never played nuclear turn. Get some money. A heart. An armor. And a beehive! Oh, I love the beehive. It doesn't reload. Yeah. Choose bees! It's delightful. Shoots bees. Beehive's nature's gun. Give it a good shake and let the bullets fly. Check our bosses out. So we got the Gatling Gull nesting in the first chamber. The bell repels the intruders with its signature weapon. Changed by the magic of the gungeon, it has long forgotten what it was like before the great bullet struck. And the gore gun. That's a good one. The Gorgon Meduzi has been the end of many novice gungeoneers. Her presence can temporarily turn fire mechanisms to stone, and her shrieks call forth bullets from beyond the curtain. going. Level 3 gets a little more entertaining. There should have been a, a gun piece on this floor, but I don't know what. I know what the one on this one is, and I know what the one on the next one is. Metal Gear Solid 3? Yeah, I've beaten Metal Gear 3. A couple times. Spiders! Seek. Let's save that. Oh. Well, fine. Don't talk to me. Let's see if I care. I found earlier. Oh, it is totally gonna get away on this floor. This map is bullshit. Yeah, he's already gone. Oh yeah, this thing. I forgot about this thing. Well, I still have an armor. Whoa! Seems to be a good gun if you don't know how to shoot. Yes. There you go. Fair amount of money. As a wizard. I've beaten level three twice. Once a long time ago and once earlier today. So let's see how that goes. Kinda depends on what boss I get again. I don't know. I could not tell you. About the state of Gungeon. Oh god, you're much more dangerous than the other one. Uh, another 
glass goo on stone. Whee! Okay, that was fun. That's the boss. Let's look for more swag. Oh god, what's that? I hate all of that. That bullet came and came and got me eventually. Okay, it's a bullet pope. Huh. Well, that was a hell of a thing. Should be a bunch more in this level. More. These guys are like from Bubble Bobble. Damn it, there's one with blanks on it. This is horrible. Damn it. Late thing hit me. Oh well, I got a heart out of it at least. Don't have any keys. Ah, I probably should have bought the key. Okay, this leads to... This is a lot easier with the jetpack. But that's the arcane gunpowder! That's something we can use to help complete the game. Oh, this will go all the way back. That's nice. I wasn't able to pick it up last time because I had the jetpack. The jetpack is just, just the best. You can't dodge roll, but you move really fast and you can go over pits and floor hazards like the spider webs. In fact, you can set the spider webs on fire, which is also hilarious. Yes. Oh, hi, guys. You guys have too many hit points now that we're deeper down. Oh shit, I'm empty. I don't know. Shrine of Forgotten Bullet who laid down his arms. Will you? You can have my machine pistol? At peace, live to gun another day. What does that do? 
I don't know, it didn't show up anywhere. chest we can't open up. Uh, we might be able to get a key for 25, but unlikely. Well, we are at the boss. The boss might drop shell casings. That big black chest does seem tempting, though. Yeah, we need 10 more. Okay, let's try this boss. Hang on a second. Is there a gun monster in here? No, it was just a regular. Shame. Hope for the best. Uh, this is one of the ones I'm bad at. It's the cannonball rog. Oh shit. Bees. Bees are working pretty good. Oh god. Oh, I hate this a lot. Get him, bees! Shit. Out of bees! o'clock at night. Piss off. Ah, <sighs> well, we were killed by the cannonball, Rog. Tragic, though that is. <laughs> let's go see, uh, let's go see about those people we saved. 